ってないけど、ここはさ、ちょっと、ちょっと重たい字で、ちょっと頑張るよ。ちょっと悪魔。ウェルザム、アンゼル、ヘビエ、ウィンザー。なので、ピースじゃなければいい、ピースでも、まあ、まあ、キャップになって、いけるよ。Anyways, um, まあ、その、サイレントがないけど、just wanted to put up a little video to talk about, you know, the news. Today, guys. Um, this is my channel, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try to explain that I'm not going to be totally in law, exclusive news, or Rogers news, or anything like that. I'm just going to talk about my story in the world of、um, dealing with news. Little bit about me.、Um, started smoking when I was 13 years old. I'm 38 now. And smoking on and off for about, well, I'd say when I was about 35, 56, I died my teen, mostly smoking, smoking, mostly drunk when I was smoking as well. And I kind of grew up with smoking in my household. Both my parents smoked, so I was、um, how can I put it? I was subjected to it as a young man.、Um, you know, we never talked about my childhood.、Uh, but yeah, started smoking. And around that time, about 35, 36, I moved from Vancouver, which is where I was born mainly, and went to a town in the interior of British Columbia known as Kelowna. And I was there, and friends became a paramedic. It was a grueling course. Won't lie, I had my difficulties, but I decided at that point if I was going to go into a career where I was going to be saving lives, where I was going to be treating people、um, in a field profession, I'd be needing to cut out some of my own habits. One of those, smoking. Where did you use it? Started looking around. Trying to find a way to quit. I had tried to quit before, didn't quite work. Seemed to me a lot of smokers will have a lot of problems quitting. So, did some research, did some poking around, ended up quitting cold turkey. One of the hardest things in life. And Say it's one of the lowest points of my life. It's very difficult, it was stressful, fighting a lot of internal demons, but you didn't come to this channel to hear about that. Anyways, did not. Through various jobs and things like that, I came more and more about vaping and e cigarettes. So I decided to give it a shot. Well, it was my wife though. She kind of got into it and bought her first vaporizer. Still uses it occasionally here and there. I then quickly followed suit. Because I was slowly getting back into smoking again, and that really wasn't my goal. Because I did want to quit entirely. But I did not smoke as nearly as much as I did. So it's been a while. I've been vaping now for about a year and a bit. And I quickly progressed from smoking on. 
ten pack Evod thousand mAh battery <clears throat> and a starter kit. Watched several videos, did more and more research into it, and now I I get it. Um, got Fox mods, got Mech mods. Um, I'm understanding more and more and more about vaping and the community around it. And it was thanks to several people in the vaping community. Thanks to Eric the Fox, the Fight Vapes, um, the Vapor Stash, now known as Vaporology Canada, and a lot of people in those uh, shops that taught me more and welcomed me into a community of people who live, breathe, eat, drink, sleep, vaping, and that it is a community where, yes, we all have a similar past. We've all been, and some of us possibly still are, addicted at our battery addiction. And those who say that addiction is a choice, it really is not. I can attest to this because of being an addict and having those old habits die hard, it is not just a thing. Because I truly haven't really fixed my addiction. I vape. Not saying it's one of those things that you could get into just off the street. I've, you know, from somebody who's never smoked before in their lives, seeing as it's a new popular thing. Well, yes, it is gaining in popularity. I will give it that. Is it something that I would ever suggest to anyone to take up? No. Not by any means reason I say that is because it was meant as a way of harm reduction. It was meant as a way to bring down the level of harm that smokers do to themselves and to the people around them. I'm just going to say what a lot of people think. I don't care too well for it now. And that is, we do know that this is not something that is safer than smoking. It does have its You are, after all, inhaling something into your lungs, other than the air. And do you know exactly what it'll do to you? No. However, is it better than, say, smoking a cigarette? I believe it is. Why? Because just looking at the clear facts of the matter, cigarettes have over a thousand different chemicals and known carcinogens in them. <coughs> Vaping does not have equally good tests for it. So would I consider it <coughs> a lot healthier? I can't say that for certain. All I know is that I wake up every morning and I don't feel like somebody put it on my chest. I don't have a lot of fun in my spirit. I don't feel like hell all the time. I can feel a lot better. I can taste a lot more. 
is weird. Something I really wish they'd let season. I find the community is really in need of support. It's really in need of social help. I believe out there is, but I'm trying to cross chasm. I would suggest this is a great way, a great step towards getting in time. Everybody will be ready to support you. Small group. One day this can all stop. Vaping is a step. Those are my thoughts on vaping, <coughs> my thoughts on the community, and thank you to those people who have uh, helped me in this community. You guys know who you are. Anyway, a bit of a serious topic, right? But Y'all gotta know that we the vapers can trust in you. And I have to admit, I do enjoy it. I enjoy being able to blow out clouds and tasting different flavors and having that very similar feeling when I'm smoking. Smoking, being able to vape indoors though, is a bonus. But in short, it is a hobby for me now. Eventually one day I will get down to zero nicotine. I will begin to truly feel the pleasure of doing that. never fear. I will be coming back at you with more shop reviews, more videos, and very lighthearted topics. If you like what I'm talking about, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe to these videos. There will be more coming out. I plan to have a schedule out in the near future. Anyway, friends, been great talking to you, and until next time,